All right, Mo, Powerline Industries, want to show you our uh, Enviro Filter Pod. <laughs> I like that name. All right, so you basically have a four by four plate. So if you want to set this on your trailer or put it in the back of your pickup truck and have a real powerful, this is a high end, it's not an electric, I've got the electrics, but this is our high end, 18 horsepower, 3LR um, Gardner Denver pump and uh, it'll suck uh, 200 feet really good. It'll also run the vacuum suction surface cleaner. So kind of want to just take a minute and go over it. So this is really compact. We're sharing this nice sized uh, Black Max gas tank and there's two fuel ons and offs. Of course you want to travel with the fuel off and that's on and on of course is in line so that's off and that's on for the gas engine over here you've got your throttle of course you can start this low you got your choke key start and belt driven Gardner Denver that's a suitor belt a brand of Gardner Denver 3LR what a what a pump Let's come on around here and I'll show some more features. Oil change filter for the for the 18 horse motor. Oil change for the engine. This is the exhaust. It's pretty loud. I've got an extension we can hook with an upright silencer uh, if you really want to silence it because you'll hear this. It's, it's definitely loud. Oil fill. Fuel pump. Here's your dipstick. I've been called that. Um, you got two grease certs right here. Keep this, keep this pump lubricated. This vacuum pump is really important. You've got your fill here for your oil, for your lubrication. They make a special oil for this unit. You've got a sight glass over here. It's kind of hard to see. You're gonna have to come around here. Okay, so your sight glass is right here. Right there, you, you can. You can test it or you can pull it out when it's cold and make sure you got fluid in it. <clears throat> Always warm this unit up. Now when you're done, we put a special spot right here to spray in the dry molly lube into the, into the blower. That's what they call it, the vacuum pump. Um, to keep it lubricated at the end of a job because you're going to get a little bit of water uh, anyway, a little bit of vapor in there. Now one thing we've incorporated nobody's got is an auto low water shutoff in the vacuum tank. Oh, I'm going kind of fast. Time's money, right? Okay, so I'm going to disconnect. Notice how we use all cam locks. I love cam locks. You get a good solid lock on them. Banjo cam locks. Okay, so Inside of here, you have a, a filter. So you can cut it, you can see the pump out, waste in, waste in, the vacuum hooks here. So the, the, the vacuum, the main vacuum off, comes in here. Uh, you can run two uh, vacuums right here. So this suctions, makes this whole canister a big vacuum, okay? All right, we're just gonna kind of open this up and I'll kind of show inside what's inside here. Okay, so inside here you've got a screen. So the waste comes in on these two tubes and flows in and it has to go through that screen. You've got your low water shutoff right there. Or high water shutoff. I'm used to low water shutoff on the blasting equipment. Okay, so if that water gets up too high, it won't go back into the blower. That's the number one problem I hear out in the industry. So we've uh, engineered around that. I'm going to lock this down and uh, I'm going to hook the vacuum up. Now the discharge, this is really unique. Okay, this is your discharge line here. It's got a check valve. And you have the option whether to send that. I'm going to pull my pants up. 
right here, Mauricio. We got Mauricio on the camera tonight. You can send it through our filter pod. This has a 100 micron, a 50, and a 20. I'm pretty sure that's what's in it. It's late, so the water will come up in. There are bag filters inside of here. Hey, I'm going to open this up and show it. So these come out, you can clean them. What a beautiful way. They're reusable. They're made by Siemens. Got some great winter weather here. All right, so it goes through the three different sets of filters. We'll come out and discharge back to your power washer. So really you can convert your power washer with the with the bulkhead right here. And you can run your run your filtered water back to your washer. If you put a uh, carbon filtration system up inside of here, inside here it'll help take some of the free oils out. Now this setup will show how we can hook it up with a lint filter in line. They call it a lint filter, but it's actually that filter will really save the junk from going into this unit here. This does have a drain. It's all made to come out to the front right here. You can see that. But the deep clean inside of this, that's, that's work. Those filters are work, you do have to change them. <laughs> I've, we've had a few people uh, think it's a street sweeper and they fill it full of rocks and bags and everything and uh, they call up Chester and get mad. But that's, that's life. If you have this in line, it'll save all that hassle. This right here will collect uh, just a ton of the of whatever you're you're collecting. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. So you can actually open this up. You can see the screen in there. You can pull this out and dump whatever the heck you're picking up. You can see it's already, the you know, stuff, yeah, the big things. stuffs. You bet. Cigarette butts. Chew, chewing tobacco. <laughs> Gum's kind of a nasty one. So that's nice. That hooks in line. Kind of doing a little walk through here. All right. So this vacuum boom, you put a couple sandbags on top at the low point. I'll take it over to a low point over here. We'll kind of show how this is working. We will show kind of how this works. All right. So this would be your low point, wherever your water's coming in. They put some sandbags on top or catch around it. This part right here would hook in to, as I'm glurbing, hook, hook into the top of the, uh, we want to grab our extension hose. Hang on one sec. We will grab it. Steve will want you to help me for a sec here. Let's hook this up. We're out of our cleaning job. We've got to get to work. Okay, so that will hook up there. This will hook up here. Gotta free those tabs. Boom, we're hooked up. So you can just hook that up, waist in. There you go. All right, we're gonna fire this up. We'll get a little little break in the well we'll just we can just run it dry for. It, it, it doesn't matter, but when we're done, we're going to spray a little bit of that. Again, I'm going to check the oil, the oils. Make sure you check the oils. I'm going to check the fuel. Make sure they're both on. Now, first, I'm going to start the generator because the generator powers this auto pump out in the bottom of this canister. So 
That way the water can pump out and you can send it through the filters and back to the machine. Now one option I love <clears throat> is you could just filter the water, maybe send it back to the landscape. A lot of, a lot of municipality areas are, will let you do that just as long as you don't hit the storm drain. Vital that you don't let soap or wash water go down the storm drain. That's, they're, they're cracking down. All right, we're gonna fire this up. We'll start the generator. All right, so next I'm gonna start the, uh, go ahead and start the, the vacuum unit. Looks like we're all hooked up, right? back on. I'm going to shut that off. And for transportation, I always shut the fuels off. That's just a good, good precaution on the engines. So that shut both the fuels off. If you're if your pump level is high, this is the auto shutoff I was telling you about that's in the tank. Yeah, kind of shaking. Yeah, too much coffee. All right, so the high water shutoff, that's the light right there that shows you that. I've got these in bigger in stock. I've got them up to 600 CFM that will also fit right here. I don't know if you need it. <clears throat> we... Uh, Call us if you do if you think you do need it. Um, and again, we've got the smaller electrical ones. I haven't made videos on them. Sold a bunch of them. Um, but give us a call if you got some EPA concerns and uh, got interest in our, in our power wash Enviro Pod. That's a cool name. And again, come out and go skiing. Come to our class. <laughs>